Welcome to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the show that brings you man-on-the-street interviews, celebrity guests, groundbreaking research, and heartwarming stories about the reasons we smile. Our show is also known as everything you've always wanted to know about dentistry, but we're too numb to ask. Hello, I'm General Dentist Dr. Kavitko, and thank you for joining me today. The following views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of this station, its staff, management, or parent company. To hear a replay of this show or one of the great shows that previously aired, log on to TheReasonsWeSmile.com or iTunes, keyword Dr. Kavitko or The Reasons We Smile. Listeners should not use Dr. Kavitko's comments and advice in place of an actual dental exam. Brighten your life with a smile that shows the professional touch of Dr. Kavitko. Time now for The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Call 459-9769 to discuss your dental issues. Now, here's your host, Dr. Kavitko. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile. I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is episode 647. Thank you so much for joining me. It's actually the 11th in a series of all pre-recorded shows due to the coronavirus COVID-19 outbreak. And because of that, there's no question of the day, but I think pretty soon we'll be able to get back into the studio because uh, things seem to be uh, waning a little bit. Before we get started, let me remind you, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kavitko. And if you'd please go to my office Facebook page and like us, that would be awesome. Also, all past episodes complete with video are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. And if you want to go back and listen to my guest's first appearance on this show, it's episode 448. With me today is a repeat guest. She was on the show with us about four years ago when she was 18. And if you want to go back and listen to my guest's first appearance on this show, it's episode 448. It is Raishma Sudhakar, and she's from India. But where in India, Raishma? I'm from Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Yeah, I told her I was going to mess it up, so instead of messing it up, I asked her to say it. <laughs> so this is really exciting because it was almost four years ago to the day, actually, it was 199 months ago, which means oh, wow. it was just one month shy of four years. At least that's according to my calculations. So you were 18 and now you're 22, correct? Yes, I will be turning 22 this July. Yeah, and it was July. Yeah, of... you're right. There you go. Okay. <laughs> All right. So to refresh people's memory, Raishma was 18. She came from a lower caste family in India. And because her father was a driver for a U.S. businessman and they happened to have a daughter, what, one year older than you? Um, Younger than me. When you're younger than you is what I meant to say. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys got to be friends. And so tell me the story of how you were able to come to the United States rather than me just talking. Um, yeah. So like you said, my father and my family used to work for this American family. Um, that's how I got to know my friend. And we've been friends for over 10 years. Wow. Um, at this point, we're like sisters. We're, like, we're all just extended family members. Um, and when I was done with my 12th standard, which is a grade here in America, but we call it standard in India. Okay. Um, so when I was done with my 12th grade, my high school, I emailed my aunt. And she's the one my family used to work for. I call her aunt, like I said, extended family Right. Um, so emailed her saying, hey, I'm done with my education. And at, way before that, um, she had told me that she'll help me with my higher education because my higher education has always been a question mark. So when I emailed her and said, hey, I'm done with my high school and I would love to pursue higher education. And she was the one who helped me. She, along with her sister, were the ones who helped me find college, and we applied for multiple colleges, and that's how I got into the United States with a student visa, an F-1 visa. Okay. And you would not have been able to go to college in your home country because of the fact that your parents couldn't afford it, correct? Yeah, absolutely. That was one of the main reasons, along with other reasons as well, but that's one of the main reasons why my I, higher education has always been a question mark and was the fact that we won't be able to afford my college tuition. Okay. And we're going to talk a little bit about how high school was. High school mm -hmm. was difficult. You had to pay for books. You had to pay for a bus. You had yeah. about 200 people in what was called the block of um, your school and they all mm -hmm. shared two bathrooms, things like that. Yep. Wow. So yeah. And then also had you not been able to 
go to college, come to the United States, your parents would have encouraged you or maybe would they have married you off at age 18? What would have happened? Um, that was the main reason why I had to email my aunt because of the fact that there was a talk about like marriage and the fact that they won't be able to pay. I had to make a plan and that's how I emailed her and that's how I got here. So had I not emailed her and told her about my situation, there is a chance that my education would have been stopped. Forever? Yes. Mm-hmm. And would you it would have had been a, an arranged marriage? Yep. With what, a that 40 year old or something? Do you remember when I said that for multiple reasons? Yeah. That was also one of the reasons. Um, at the end, after I got my results, there were talk about marriage, which honestly scared me because I've always been good at school and the thought of being married at a young age. And I graduated when I was 16. Oh. So, yeah, there was a talk of at least waiting until 18, but without a college, I would just be sitting at home, you know. So the thought of all of that at that point just overwhelmed me in a very negative way. And that's how I had to take matters into my own hands. Okay. Now this person or this gentleman they would have found for you would have been much older than you, correct? Yeah. How much older? That's, yep. That's how people, their role. How much older would it have been? A 30-year-old? A 40-year-old? What? Um, I would like to think they're not that old, but <laughs> I do, <laughs> I do know, like, I do have friends that have married to someone that's much older as in like 10, 15 years older. So it would be something like that. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah congratulations for being able to escape that. <laughs> right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, Proud of that. <laughs> So back when you were on this show four years ago, you had Mm -hmm. a GoFundMe page that you were using to raise money so that you could afford college. Do you still have it? Um, Unfortunately, I do not have that page. Um, We came across some password issues and we had to close that, but I am planning on like opening a new one. Okay. in the process. Okay. Now the last one was GoFundMe.com forward slash Reshma, R-E-S-H-M-A. Yeah. Yeah. It would pronounce Reshma, but it's spelled Reshma. Is that what you're going to do again? Um, I don't know. I would have to talk to the GoFundMe people. Okay. Um, they weren't very communicative on that part, but I have to look into that. Okay. Okay. Because we're going to talk more, but I understand you're still working on college and you recently had an interesting thing happen which is because of the coronavirus and the university, many of them have switched to completely online coursework Mm -hmm. and your student visa requires that you have in-person classes. Correct. Wow. Wow. So you had to actually change where you go to college. You were going to Franklin University and you had to switch to, tell me. Ohio Dominican University, yeah. Okay. Because if you went, went to all online, you would lose your student visa and have to leave the country. Right. It was actually funny. A little before the pandemic, yeah. Um, that I had to switch, and during the pandemic, when everyone went online, even I went online with the new university, with the new Ohio Dominican, also switched it to online due to the pandemic. It wasn't an issue because it was nationally announced to change every classes to online. But my major, when I was in my previous university got switched from face-to-face to online, but my visa required me to stay face-to-face, and I won't be able to do that if all of the classes were online, so I had to switch to a new university. Okay, okay. I want to talk a lot more about that. I want to talk about your background. I want to talk about what it was like back home and what it's been like for you here, but it looks like it's time for us to go to a break. You can hang in there, right? You can hang with us? Yes. You sure? Yeah. Okay, and I have to tell you, you don't have as much of an accent as you did four years ago. Has anyone told you that? <laughs> yeah. They have? Yes, I yeah. hear that. That's cool. Okay. All right, so hang on. We have to go to a break, okay? Mm-hmm. You're listening to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kivitko, episode 647 with Reshma Sudakar, and we'll be right back. You won't believe it, though. I want to hear your mind. There's nothing else in the world tonight She said people don't take the time Hey, people don't take the time Hey, what's going on? It's Keith Carlos, winner of America's Next Top Model and star of Chocolate City 2 
You can look for my smile courtesy of Dr. Kavico on the CBS television network where I play Danny on the hit soap opera, The Bold and the Beautiful. Stay tuned to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavico, the world's most interesting dentist. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko. Guess what? We're open and here to take care of all of your dental needs. It's been a long time coming, but in the words of Governor DeWine, it's full steam ahead. During the time we were closed, we were acquiring PPE. We were developing a plan to keep you safe. We've had Zoom meetings, a very active text string, and in addition to going into the office to take care of emergencies, we've been in complete contact with each other, so we'd be ready. Are you ready? We bet your teeth and gums are. Don't forget, your teeth haven't been cleaning themselves. Your cavity haven't been getting any smaller and your gum disease hasn't been healing itself and if you haven't had x-rays in a while or an exam there could be a lot of things going on in there that you're not aware of because let's face it cavities don't hurt even abscesses don't hurt until they get really bad call us at 614-262-9588 that's 614-262-9588 or go to drkvitko.com that's d-r-k-v-i-t-k-o.com I'm Johanna, and I've been a dental patient at Dr. Kavico and Associates for over 10 years. I would really recommend Dr. Kavico for your family's dental care. They're friendly. They're always there to help me. I feel like family when I walk in the door. It's clean. It's comfortable. Even if I have to bring my kids, they have a great playroom for them. I know when I'm with Dr. Kavico, they are taking that extra time to make sure that I'm going to be the healthiest I can be. They've been great. I love them. Call Dr. Kavitko and Associates today, 614-262-9500. Hi, this is Richard Simmons. Dr. Kavitko's here, and he's going to help you with all of your problems. Uh, are your teeth yellow? He can fix that. Are you missing a tooth? He can put a new one in. How is that? <laughs> That's very good. Thank you, Richard. Okay, we're back. I'm Dr. Kvitko. This is episode 647 of The Reasons We Smile. And with me is Reshma Sudakar. She is now 22 or will be 22 next month. We met her four years ago when she was 18. And she came to this country from India with the help of an American family. And they brought her here because she was doing so well in school and kind of saved her from being married off at the age of 16 to somebody that's 16 years older than you. Okay, so... Tell me about your journey then. It's been four years. How many years of college have you been able to get under your belt now? Um, so since I had to switch to a different university, I should have been graduated this year or at least the end of the year. But unfortunately, since I had to switch to a different university, I'll be graduating next year, the end of next year. That's still pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Are you excited? It's, it's been a... It's been an exciting journey, um, and, but frankly, can't wait to finish and jump into the real world. Cool. What is your major? Computer science. Ooh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, that kind of ties in with uh, your ability to use your computer to email what you called your aunt, your American aunt, or you know, just call yeah. her an aunt, to say, almost say, save me. <laughs> that would be my first step. <laughs> so what are you going to do with your degree? Are you going to, I mean, it's IT. How do you see yourself using that degree? Um, definitely see myself in a reputable company working. Um, writing code I, or what? What? Would you be writing code? Would you be working in an animation studio? Yes. What do you think? My interest is in software development. Okay. Um, so that's what I will be pursuing or in the process of pursuing. May I ask what kind of grades you're getting? Um, I like as in GPA. You mean? Yes. Um, right now I have 3.5. Good. Something. That's really good. Yeah. Um, it's exciting because the other day I received an email saying that I was that I was on the dean's list. Good for you. So that was, yeah, that is very awesome. That's so cool. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, I I expected you to do that, but uh, it's it's <laughs> harder to actually do, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't know, if... especially given the year it was. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so your home life. You've been living with a family in Columbus who is not the family that sponsored you over, right? Um, I actually moved to her house, so currently I I am living with the with my sponsor. Oh, and in, in what town? In Delaware. Delaware, okay. Yes. Actually, Delaware, not just county. What? 
Are you actually in the city of Delaware, not just Delaware County? Yeah, city of Delaware. City of Delaware. Okay. Well, that's neat. And how about the, I guess it would be your adopted sister. What is she doing? The one that's um, a year she younger. She's actually going to OSU. Okay. And what is she's she majoring, majoring in? in? International studies or public relations. Wow. That field. Yeah. She's very, very much interested in nonprofit organizations. Okay. Um, she's always been interested in that area. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Probably because of her upbringing and her family being in India. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I was just about to say because of the fact that she got to travel a lot. She's been to a lot of countries and experienced a lot of cultures and, and she wanted to be in this nonprofit organization that would help, I guess, the minorities. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Now, your dream was, and probably still is, but tell me if I'm wrong, to make sure that the rest of the women back in India have more opportunity, the kind of opportunity that you've been able to kind of garner for yourself, but you want to make it easier for other women and young girls to do the same. Is that still true? Yes, that is true. Um, I actually, um, one of the things that actually helped me get through my childhood was reading, and I've always enjoyed reading books, could be any type of books, and this is like at the back of my head, I want to build a library and have story time for kids and stuff, and then have like a sponsorship for girls in India, that's a goal of mine. Okay. Well, you know, yeah. I met you through Rotary, and when you're ready to do that, and you have to get yourself situated, graduate first, get your job, get a little bit of money put aside, and get back in touch with us because Rotary has a way of helping with those kinds of international projects. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because our Rotary, Clintonville Rotary, we would uh, sponsor books, libraries in the small Bahamian islands, not the big ones, but the little ones, where mm -hmm. they were essentially one-room schoolhouses on these smaller islands, and they didn't have libraries at first. And there was this woman who found out about that and started uh, getting donated books and cataloging them and bringing them mm -hmm. to the islands. And by providing libraries for all of these little schools, the, the um, testing, the, the kids did so much better on the tests when they reached the eighth grade that the mm -hmm. Minister of Education came and visited because he thought there might have been cheating. Isn't that oh. weird? Isn't that neat? But it was only because they'd had access to books. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> so I'm serious. You you need to get back with us in Rotary, Clintonville Rotary, okay? Uh, yeah, no, absolutely. Um, helping girls as always in India has always been a goal of mine, but recently having been in, introduced to the library system has actually sparked that idea, I would say. The one we have here? Yeah, yeah. because all of, for my um, college, I actually check out books from libraries. That's been a huge help and a money saver for me. Cool. Yeah, that's really neat because we talked about before how your libraries were limited. One of them was about yep. to close. They didn't mm -hmm. have enough books and you, and by the way, you used to say books. <laughs> I know, my accent has <laughs> changed. <laughs> <laughs> it's really neat. I'm, that's so cool. Even when I talk to my parents, I always get that. They tell you? Yeah, they tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Even when I'm speaking my native language, right? There's a, there's a big difference. And my grandma, every time I call her, she yells at me for not <laughs> speaking the right accent. Oh, she's she thinks you're saying it wrong <laughs> yeah. now. Yep. Oh, that's funny. See, yeah, I, I had heard. I'm, Go ahead. I'm hopeful that it'll come back, get to visit them. Oh, okay. But yeah. it's okay because if you're going to work in a U.S. company, uh, sure. it's yeah, it's nice to uh, yeah. have people understand you. And I mean, with a name like Reshma Sudakar, sometimes I wonder <laughs> when, you know, if I can't pronounce the person's name, I wonder if I'm going to be able to understand a word they say. But, uh, right. but yeah, usually I'm wrong. I can understand them just fine. So we're coming up against a, another break here soon. And I want to talk about dental care in, mm -hmm. in India because you told me a story about uh, the dental care there and your condition when you came to this country. And we want to um, revisit that and also talk about your dental care that's happened since. And I also want to talk about, see if you remember the, your answer, but I thought it was so cool. One of the things I asked you, don't tell me the answer now, it'll be after the break, was what did you find as one of the most interesting or fascinating things about the United States uh, as compared to India? 
Okay, so see if you remember your answer. All right, we are. Uh, it is time for us to go to a break. You're listening to The Reasons We Smell, episode 647, and we'll be right back. You can take me as I am. Not just a little bit. I don't know who to be. I'm a paper cup, baby, of the sea. I know you see it too, because... You're too much for me. This is Clark Kellogg. Stay tuned for more of Dr. Kavitko. Estás escuchando con Dr. Kavitko aquí en su sesión favorita. Hi, I'm Dominique Weigert. Like what you hear? Why not use the show to promote your product or service by becoming a sponsor? Call 614-262-9588 to learn how. That's 614-262-9588. Call now. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of the Reasons We Smile Radio and Roadshow. I've been honored to help several famous people get a perfect smile, like Keith Carlos and Dominique Rygaard from America's Next Top Model and Ted the Golden Voice Williams from right here in Columbus. Isn't it time you had a celebrity smile? It costs less than you might think, and most of the time, it can be done in one visit. A new smile can make a world of difference. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. I'm Grandpa, and I go to Dr. Kavitko, and I still have all my teeth. Real ones. Where's my glasses? All right, we're back. If you're just joining us, with me is Reshma Sudakar. And before the break, I said I was going to ask her to tell me, tell us, what did she find so fascinating when she came to the U.S.? And what was your answer? It was traffic. It was traffic. And then, but uh, that was back then. You're going to have a new answer for us in a minute, right? Because there's something else you became fascinated with. But let's yeah. talk. Uh, let's talk about the traffic first. What do you mean by traffic? You love traffic, or what? Um, well, four years ago, when I first came, we traveled from Chicago to Dublin, and our car was still moving, and my sponsor's sisters, my aunts who were driving, were complaining about the traffic, and I was like, what are you talking about? There is no traffic here. You, you should have seen the traffic in Chennai, because compared to ch traffic in Chennai, that was nothing. <laughs> and I was fascinated by how like impatient people were about the traffic. But now that I get to drive, I think it kind of um, worn out on me. Oh, it wore off on you. Okay, so you're also um, impatient about the traffic now? <laughs> as much as I hate to say it, I am. Okay. And that's also like if I go back, like when I go back, um, that would be a huge problem for me, I can tell. Oh, okay, because one of the things you said was you were just amazed that we actually followed the traffic signs, that we stopped at stop signs and red lights because oh, they didn't yes. back home. Yes, yeah. Um, that still fascinates me even till this day. The tr following the traffic rules is still something I talk about even like a while back when I was talking to my dad about, we were just like reminiscing about how he used to drop me at school and stuff. And he was talking about how they don't follow the rules there. And I assured him that here you have to follow the rules. <laughs> and he just looked at me weird. And I was like, <laughs> it's the law. Dad. <laughs> and he's like, so what? But if he were here, he would get I a know. ticket. Right, but I was like, if you're here, you have to follow the rules. <laughs> okay, now, but if I asked you today, Reishma of 2020, what's the most fascinating thing about being in the United States, your answer would be what? I would say it would be a general answer, but my answer would be opportunity. When I first got here, it wasn't something that I, I mean, moving here was in and itself is a huge opportunity. But after being in the country for so long, I think what excites me is the opportunity that has been given to me when it comes to like universities and when it comes to classes and when it comes to professors and there's a lot of opportunity for you to choose and also like how I was mentioning before about books like there are libraries that would allow you to check out books and so there are a lot of opportunity for you to like stay successful in your college and that is something that I'm fascinated about and also really grateful for. 
You know, it's funny, about two weeks ago, maybe three now, I had a young man on the, the show who was the recipient of the Clintonville Rotary slash Dr. Kavitko and Carrie Kavitko scholarship. Together, we mm -hmm. provide $4,000 for the first year for a high school senior. And I talked to him about how important it was to study and that college and education is the way out of poverty. It's the way to improve yourself, your, your lot in life, and that it's mm -hmm. sad, but too many people, in my mind anyway, concentrate on their sports thinking they're going to be the next NBA player and instead of their studies. Have you found that? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, but you've figured it out. If you do well in school, you study hard, work hard, you can get ahead in this country. No, yeah, absolutely. That is also something that I got to learn coming to the United States and being here for a while is that your hard work definitely pays off. Good. And I think and that's And it important. wasn't something that I was used to back home and it was good to know that if you work hard enough, you will achieve whatever yeah. that you want to achieve. Exactly. So, Everybody yeah, needs the to know that. opportunity on a whole, just, I know it's a general term, but there are multiple, like small things inside that still fascinates me. Cool. Okay. We're almost out of time. And so I mm -hmm. want to ask you, tell me about the dental care in the United States. In fact, the reason we reappeared in my life mm -hmm. was you're having some issues with wisdom teeth. So you came in and right. we're going to, we assess them. We're going to make an appointment to remove them for you because they're bothering you and they're impacted. But what mm -hmm. other dental care have you had other than maybe uh, some work that I did? Or is that it? Um, in the United States? Or y back yes. Home? United States. No, um, actually, I mean, you know, my dental records, not really very fond of going to the dentist except <laughs> for coming to your office. That's why as soon as they started bothering I mean, here. Okay. Well, that's good. So, hey folks, people from India, all the way from India come to me. That means you should too. <laughs> <laughs> right? Absolutely. I second that. <laughs> and tell me the name of the town and the state you're from again. I'm from Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Okay. You say that so much better than I could <laughs> because I couldn't say it at all. <laughs> yeah. All right, Reshma, it looks like we are out of time. I'm, I'm This went too fast and I wish we had more time, but... Uh, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we don't. Maybe we can have you back on again. Absolutely. It was fun. It's okay. always been fun. Awesome. And um, well, well, maybe when you graduate or something, we'll, we'll have a congratulations uh, uh, appearance. Yes. Okay. That would be fun. Yeah. Okay. And let me know when you have the new GoFundMe page and I'll try to mention it on the air. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay. Well, you have a great day. Thanks for checking in, and uh, we'll get those wisdom teeth out as soon as you're eligible, as soon as, as soon as you're able. Awesome. All right. You have a good night. You too. All right. Bye okay. now. That's Reshma Sudakar. What a what a nice young lady, and what a focused young lady. And boy, talk about somebody who started off with nothing and is making something out of herself. I don't know if we mentioned it on this show, but. Her family lived in a or lives in a two-room house with no beds. They have mats and they sleep on the concrete floor. They don't have air conditioning. They don't have refrigeration. In fact, uh, she told me on episode 448 that her dad would oftentimes sleep in his car because it was air conditioned, but none of the family got to do that. And that because they didn't have refrigeration, they would get, for example, they would get milk in the morning, but they had to drink it all that day. Otherwise, it would spoil. And, you know, she had challenges getting to school. She had to take public transportation, these overcrowded buses and all of that. And it's just a, just a nice, nice story. And what a nice young lady and a deserving young lady. And kudos to the family that helped her get here uh, to pursue her dream. I really think she's going to do awesome things. Isn't that cool? I really, really think it is. And I love bringing stories like this to you guys. And remember, the name of the show is The Reasons We Smile. And Reishma and people like her make me smile. And I hope they make you smile as well. All right, that is all the time we have today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's at Dr. Kavitko. And if please go to my office Facebook page and like us. That would be awesome. And remember, all past episodes complete with video are available at thereasonswesmile.com. Be sure to tune in next week and every week right here on your favorite station. Goodbye. This is
is Carly Red from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, the hit show on VH1, urging you to tune in next week with my dentist, Dr. Kavitko. If you're interested in learning more about this and other dental health topics, go to thereasonswesmile.com to access full episodes of Dr. Kavitko's show. If you'd like Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist, to speak at your next event, please call 614-262-9588. That's 614 614- 262-9588 or send an email to speaking.